Rasmus from Brazil's fight capital. To... Gentlemen, you understand the rules that you're fighting to. Check yourself at all times, obey my commands. Any questions? Touch gloves if you like. Push back. York out of Brazil. He's wearing the white gloves. Kraplovinsky in the black. How do these two men's styles match up, Joe? Well, you're going to see Michael Yurk that really relies on pressure and combination fighting. Where Stoyan, uh, he's going to use a little bit more of his length and power kicks on the outside. And watch him change levels with his striking. Very impressive. Nice body kick there from Koplovinsky. Koplovinsky told us he's never been in a tournament as a pro but feels that this is a huge opportunity for him. He's looking forward to the challenge and thinks he should be the favorite in this tournament, although a lot of people said it was Tijani Bestad. Well, yeah, Stoyan has a very good amateur record, which made him very popular in Bulgaria. But he's, he's down to fight anybody, very talented. As for Yurk, says he spends 70% of his time in Brazil, the other 30% in Holland, and he landed a left hook. Both guys are bringing some good combinations. I like the way Michael Yerkes hitting the body. Nice head kick from Kyle Provinsky. He did one with the left leg and then with the right. And those are quick looking kicks too. Yeah, very fast. Michael Provinsky has Big Mike in the corner, so very experienced corners on both sides. Big Mike's asking Stoyan to not wait so long. Kroplovinsky loving that high kick. Yeah, those are off the guard of York. Again upstairs. Break. Michael York keeps his arms really tight, so a body kick is a good strategy, but remember, those aren't scoring. He's got to put some combinations, change levels with the kicks, head kicks, mixed with some punching. A good combination from Yurk. And back to the kicks goes Koplovinsky, another body kick. Starting to see some redness now on the frame of Yurk. Yurk slipping, trying to throw a low kick. We were watching some fighters warm up earlier, and this canvas did look a little slick. Yeah, once you get fresh canvas like this, it's always a little slippery. Especially both guys. And there's the high cool. kick again, and he may be out cold. What a shot from Stoyan Koplovinsky. Yeah, he kept going to the body, and then he finally mixed in the head kick. That's what I talked about earlier about changing levels. Koplovinsky had thrown several high kicks all round long and then went away for a little while, came back to it, and boom. Face first with the Brazilian. In check. Here's a look at that. Oh, wow. right on, beautifully timed right over the glove. In the first round, please welcome back Stoyan Koprivalensky. Okay, guys, you know the rules. Break is break, stop is stop. Questions? Question. They don't touch gloves, but I feel like there's some mutual respect there because both of these respective fighters felt that the other guy would make it to the final. And here we are, and here we go. Koplovinsky in the black gloves, Bestati wearing white. And we saw earlier Bestati likes to start fast. Koplovinsky starting with those kicks. You're going to see Bestati probably come with his boxing. You gotta believe Bestati saw what Karplovinsky did in his first fight and will keep the gloves high. The kicking of Stoyan has been very impressive because he just throws both sides, low kicks, the level changes, what makes his kicking very dangerous. Add some good speed and power to it. Whoa! A left counter punch there from Bestati. Really step Koplovinsky back. Yeah, that's going to keep Stoyan's kicking game at bay. 
As Stoyan kicks, you're going to see Bestati come forward with his hands. You saw Bestati's hands there by his, his sides. Got to watch out for that, a high kick to Johnny. Good overhand right for Bistotti. Yeah, and good counter. Oh, oh, a spinning back fist right on the forehead. Bistotti's down. Three, Where did that come five, from? Six, seven, eight. Koplovitsky having the greatest night of his career, at least to this point. And that just angered Bistotti, who's throwing rights and lefts now. The fight it out right in the middle of the ring. Yeah, now he's hurting Stoyan, but Stoyan came back with a left hook. Duck that high kick. High drama here in the Netherlands. We've seen this exact same thing happen to Bestadi at Glory 41. He got hit with a spinning back fist, but then came back and ended up getting knockdowns of his own. A lightning quick spinning back fist from Kroplovinski. And there's one for Bestadi, who falls off balance. Straight right hand. The Bulgarian is having an amazing fight here so far. Yeah, and he's mixing levels with his punches as well. And there's another one that hits the jaw. 30 seconds to go. Nice left uppercut from Kopravlinski. Keep in mind, Bestati went the full three rounds earlier tonight. Kopravlinski didn't even go one. Ten seconds to go. What a round for Stoyan Koplovinsky, Joe. And he's doing well when he's putting his punches in combinations. Round two, scheduled for three. Koplovinsky surely with a 10-8 round there. We'll see the official scores momentarily, and there it is. Estadi really looking for that left hook. So Bestati needs either a knockdown or has to win rounds two and three to force an extra round. You've got to love the confidence of Koplovinsky. He's just owning, owning the ring right now. Yeah, he's just being very strong in his footwork and his stance. Well, Bestati's coming back, though. When Bestati throws in volume, that's when he's doing well. He's got to get that energy to, to put some work together. He did have that tough fight earlier tonight against Nicholas Larson. He went nine minutes, the full nine. Kroplovinsky went two minutes and 47 seconds. Total strikes. Bestati's actually landed more, but obviously the Bulgarian with the more effective shots. Yep, the scoring is based on damage, so you gotta look at what's doing the most damage. Big Mike yelling at Koprovlinski to follow up if he miss. You have Bestati really looking to counter. He's got to counter those kicks with some punches. Korplevinsky told us that he respects Bestati, thinks he's good, but said, quote, I do everything better than he does. A low kick from Korplevinsky. Nice bounce back round here for Bestati so far. Yeah, he had that time to recover. But he's still relying on the single power shot, which I feel when he puts his combinations together is when he's doing the most damage. Kropovinsky, a big star in Bulgaria, appears on news shows. He's in all the magazines, sports magazines. They love fighting in Bulgaria. There's a lot of hype behind Kropovinsky, who just eats an uppercut from Bestati. Yeah, that uppercut, some of his, what has been one of his best weapons in the first round. Haven't seen it much in the second. Danny DeVry 
in the corner of Tajani Bestati. There's no doubt Bestati is the best young pupil they have there at Coliseum. Yeah, very young, very talented. And he gets, Tajani gets to spar with some of the best in the world on a daily basis. Yeah, he's landing more of the power shots, but he's right. Both guys need to put some work in here. Bestati has landed 50 total strikes compared to 34 for the sniper. There are the judges' scores. Bestati gets three of the five judges to vote for him. So that sets up a dramatic round three here. It's a must win for Bestati. So what's the game plan here for Bestati? Well, Bestati just has to find the energy to put things together. He can't just keep moving, relying on the single shot to put Koprovlenski out. There's another spinning back fist. It's been the go-to move. This Tati does have a good scissor left knee. Maybe he's going to need something more spectacular um, offense to be able to put Stoyan out. Bestati has gotten up off the canvas to win a glory fight before. He's trying to do it again here in the finals of our lightweight contender tournament. Bestati going for that uppercut again. Telegraphed it a little bit this time. We're calling that a slip. There's that scissor left knee Bestati's known for. Bistotti now with his mouth open, breathing. There's another back fist. But our referee, John Axwood, says that's the forearm, which is not legal. No, you have to hit with the glove. Which is hard because you're spinning your head and you're turning your head. So a lot of times the fighter's coming in and you hit elbows or forearm. Big Mike asking for a little bit more from Koprovinsky. Step back. If he wins this round, he wins the fight. The winner of this fight gets the, the Ramon Deckers trophy, and it's actually here at the Ahoy that Ramon Deckers had his last official retirement fight, so a lot of good energy here. Obviously, Ramon Deckers gone too soon. A kickboxing Muay Thai legend. And the tournament is, so the trophy for the winning of this tournament is named after him. It'd be a great honor to win it here, where he had his retirement fight. 16 years ago. 20 seconds left. Not too much drama here in round three so far. No one's really landed a big, big shot. 10 seconds left. Fatigue definitely kicked right. in. Step back. Two fights in one night. Very few can do it. Another back fist. Did Bestani win round three? If not, he won't win the fight. They both climbed the ropes to celebrate. We'll see what the judges have to say. Three judges score the bout 29-27. The remaining two have it 30-26. A unanimous decision, all for your winner. And now, Glory Contender Tournament Champion, Stoyan Koprivlinski! Here to present the Ramon Deckers Trophy, our Managing Director of Sport, Mr. Cor Hemmers, joined by our Chief Executive Officer, Mr. John Franklin. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the last of our four preliminary bouts this evening is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the lightweight division. Okay, guys, listen up. I want a clean fight, so be my commands, okay? Stoyan Kroplovinsky with a pretty good cheering section in the upper deck. It's Bulgaria right. versus right. Turkey, Kabri in the black gloves, Kroplovinsky in the white. I have a feeling we're going to see Cabri really use his punches and really get on the inside work. Stoyan's got really spectacular kicks. And what he does so well is he mixes them really well. He'll go left, right, low, high. And Joe, I remember asking you this question when we saw Cabri last time. Why isn't he at featherweight? He's so small for this division. Yeah, he looks a lot smaller than his guys, but he's also fighting really tall guys. He fought Tajani and now another tall fighter in Stoyan. So. But he definitely looks like a featherweight fighter, so maybe after this one, it would be a wise move to move down. A 
lot of guys just feel like they lose too much power and strength when they go down. Yeah, it's, it's, I, I'm finding less guys are wanting to cut more weight. So they don't want to go through the dehydration. They lose the energy. They say it dehyd dehydrates the brain, so you can't take as many shots. Provinsky wants that high kick knockout, you can already tell. Yeah, and it's set up well with those level changes. You've seen him go left kick to the body, right low kick. So you can never guess where those kicks are coming from. And as Toddy knocked him out with a high kick in his only other glory appearance. Yeah, and, and even at Stoya, when you saw him fight Michael Yurk at, um, you know, it was in Glory 49, it was one of the highlight head kicks of the year. Another high kick, and you can hear Big Mike, the trainer for Stoya Kozlovinski, telling it's there, meaning the high kick is there. Also for Stoyan, knees would be good because he knows Cabri wants to get inside. So mixing kicks and knees would be a good strategy as well. Cabri going for an uppercut there. Ah, nice. I really like how he's shifted his head off center, shuffled his feet to create an angle. Well, a little question mark kick for Kaprovinsky, a big front push kick. Sends Capri flailing back. Now the way Stoyan is fighting, I really I call it boxing with his feet. You know, a lot of guys like to punch and throw their punches in combinations, but you can do the same thing with your feet, and that's what Stoyan's doing. He's throwing round kicks mixed with front kicks. You think the front kick as a jab, your round kick as the cross. Box with your legs. Look at the physique of Karpovinsky. Not an ounce of fat on it. Now his body's made for kicks. Long, strong legs. Aubrey still trying to get inside. But to do it, he's going to have to eat some kicks, knees, and punches. And he's staying really defensive with a high guard, too. But I know he's trying to get on the inside and try to create some angles. He's looking for that uppercut. He's thrown it a few times now. And big Mike has a lot of time invested in Kaprovinsky, who's a huge star in Bulgaria. Only 23 years old. Talk about good training partners. You know, Stoyan Kaprovinsky, Mike's gym. All right. Also have Michael D versus Morat Buzidi. Another fight that could just electrify this place, which is sold out tonight. Fans starting to file in. It's filling up. Over 12,000 in this section off part of the stadium. Johan Koiferina, Amsterdam, Netherlands. Right hand lands there for Kaprovinsky. Yeah, that's the thing. For for Cabri, he has to throw his punches in combination. When he works on the inside, exactly like that, he's got to put some stuff together. Beautiful punch to low kick combination. Good head movement. You don't want to duck too low, though, you might eat a knee. Yeah, that's the dangerous thing. When guys overbox sometimes, that's where you can eat knees and head kicks. But Cabri's got a good high defense. And his ability to mix levels with his boxing is going to be a good key for him here. Good one, two, the right hand connects. After losing round one, Cabri is definitely winning round two. Yeah, he's picking up his, his volume. He's getting, oh, oh nice, nice counter right. It was too easy for Kaprovinsky in round one. It's a little yeah. tougher now. But when we saw Cabri in his debut, he got knocked out pretty quickly from Tajani Bastadis. We really didn't get to see what he's about. And now two rounds in, he's looking really impressive with his, his inside boxing. Stoyan going back to his kicks to shut down those inside boxing work. If you know someone continues to go for that high kick, the left high kick, what's your defense and how do you counter? Pressure, pressure, get on the inside. If I'm close to you and my head's in the head-to-head -head range, you can't throw those high kicks. So that's why that pressure for Cabri is shutting down those kicks. The high kick is set up his own for Cabri, who I think ate a knee there. Now you, yeah, you told me about defending head kicks, but the inside now, he has to be careful for those knees. That's the issue now. So you see Stoyan making the, the adapt and coming in with those knees. Now Karpovinsky seems to have settled into the second round. Kick. Yeah, that's, if you're gonna spin and miss like that, it's a good idea to come spin with that back fist. Very clean timing. Nice left hook to the body. 
Round two certainly closer than round one was. He's just more confident in his pressure and his inside work. I feel Stoyan's a little, thought this fight would have been a little bit easier. Yeah, I think he was going for that first round knockout. Now that he hasn't gotten it, he's kind of had to change game plans a little bit. Yeah, Kepri's making it a fight. And immediately a spinning attack for Koprovinsky. He wants a knockout here. He's got a lot of fans in that upper, upper section, a couple hundred at least, chanting his name. Kabri needs a knockdown. All five judges scoring it for the Bulgarian. And yeah, round two is definitely better for Kabri. That's the same kind of fight he needs to break. Try to get on the inside, create some angles, lets his hands go. But he's got to be careful for those Stoyan knees on the inside. Big Mike yelling for the high kick. Change something up here. Koprovinsky wants that KO. <laughs> of his nine victories, four have come by knockout. Guard loose with those spinning back fists. Nice knee for Koprovinsky on the inside. You see Kabri waiting to counter punch, trying to slip something off. But Stoyan's ability to mix kicks and punches isn't making it easy. Great, step back. Just over a minute to go here in the third and final round. Koprovinsky of 2018 on all five judges scorecards. Coming up at the top of the hour, Glory Super Fight Series, headlined by Mohamed Jiraiya and Myrtle Grunhart. Seconds for the Turk to find something here. I just heard Big Mike in the corner yelling, uppercut now. But Stoyan is finding that left kick to the body. Into the arm, you can see the redness on the right arm. Cabri throws a couple punches there. and about scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Fighters, you know the rules. I want to clear in the fair fight. Obey the commands at all time. Protect yourself at all time, okay? Touch gloves if you want. Touch. Step back. Doing the time. pressure that he's Fight. used to. Stoyan Karplovinsky in very similar trunks to Bruno. Are they wearing, are they twins? The exact same. Twins night. Karplovinsky, Stoyan Karplovinsky in the white gloves, Bruno in the black. Yeah, right away, you see, look what Ghazani wants to do. Get inside. That's where he's going to do his work. Nice to see big semi shield in the corner of Bruno. I was going to say, I mean, I'm sure if they spark together, there's a height difference that he, he could practice on. Ghazani on top of Ghazani's shoulders would be as tall as semi shield Scheduled for three rounds. Yep. First of four fights on Glory 79, which will lead directly into Collision 3, which you can purchase right now at gloryfights.com. Good left hand from Stoyan. Yep, that active punching of Stoyan looked good there, but... Mazzani always has an answer. Kazani downstairs to the body. Oh, Stoyan with a knee downstairs as well. 
Yeah, I Play. think uh, Stoyan's, it looks like his game plan is mixing levels a little bit versus that high guard, but nice knee up the middle from Stoyan. And you, you got to appreciate Bruno's love for glory. You see the giant tattoo of glory's logo on the back of his neck. He's convinced he will be the world champion sooner than later, and he's unbeaten, ranked number nine. But hey, step back. And there he is to the right of your screen. Yep, Sammy Schilt, legend. The last man to defeat Rico Verhoeven in glory. Yep, this is an early glory tournament. She's nine years ago, it's been. Nine years since Rico last lost. Will he lose tonight to Jamal Ben Sadiq? Find out in our main event, still to come. I like the way Stoyan's using his boxing today, using that jab to try to set up body shots, mix his kicks in with the jab. Bruno's doing his best to smother him. And that Ghazani pressure adds up with time. As the, as the fight goes on, that pressure will add up. You see how much energy Stoyan's trying to put off that guard. Good combination there from Poplavinsky. Yep, you hear Big Mike Play. in the corner of Kropovlinski asking for body work. Definitely part of the game plan. You look at Bruno's legs, though, they look so thin, Joe. Yeah, but uh, they're durable, that's for sure. You've seen him take Play. a lot of Play. low kicks between uh, his other fights and walks right through them. Like and he also blocks well, right? Oh, yep, checks a lot of kicks. It's like his, he's got two metal poles for legs. Stoyan again going downstairs, but Ghazani with a good combination, ending with a low kick. A lot of action in that round. Expecting well over 15,000 here tonight, approaching maybe 20,000 at the Heldra Dome in Arnhem. But you hear I uh, uh, added in the Yeah. We're big on the I feel like your Dutch is getting better. <laughs> You've been here enough where well, it's getting better. Well, Dunkeville. But how about the output from both these fighters? Yeah, it's a, it's a good fight, fire fight. Basically draw the line in the sand. High kick from Stoyan, blocked nicely by Bruno. Yeah, there's no rest. For the Bruno's opponent, you yeah, better keep going. Yeah, you see what happened there. Stoyan wanted to take a little breather, tried to circle out. Ghazani followed him right away. And there's those knees I like from Ghazani. And our open scoring on display there. All five judges giving the Bulgarian the first round. Yeah, he was a little bit more active, landing the cleaner shots, the bigger shots. But this is where I'm starting to see that Ghazani pressure start adding up, right? Stoyan, not as much maybe pop happening. Good low kick there, almost swept Kaplovinsky off his feet. And again, Ghazani does not let him rest. Yeah, I like that Ghazani low kick. And it looks like he goes to the calf too. He's mixing up those levels. It's a shame, it's like uh, two girls in high school wearing the same dress to the prom. <laughs> the exact same trunks. Well, yeah. what would they do? Maybe fight each other and see who can wear it or not. So that's what they're doing now. <laughs> Minute and a half to go here in round two. Gazzani, 67 professional wins, unbeaten here in glory. Much less experience for the sniper. He only has 12 pro wins. And nine of those, uh, nine of his fights in his career have been in glory. So experienced here, fought big names, Josh Johnsy, Jiraiya, he's fought Bezzati. Push kick there from Stoyan. Good right hand for Ghazani. Yeah, Stoyan came back though, that left kick, that Stoyan left kick is dangerous, and what he'll do sometimes, he level changes with it. I think that's what he's got to do. Hit the body, then go back upstairs. Bruno complaining about Stoyan leading with the head, and he is warned by the referee. Break! Break, break, break. Heads up. Stoyan throwing that left head kick over and over. Ghazani seems to block it every time. Yeah, I mean, Stoyan now trying to hit moving backwards is a good strategy as well. Because you see, after Stoyan kicks, Ghazani steps right forward again. No time to breathe. A little bit, little bit of concern, perhaps, in the corner of Bruno. 
Whoa. Step forward, big jab there from Ghazani. Yeah, that's a nice uh, spearing jab, I call that. Stop. Ghazani usually excels in the third round when his opponent starts to falter. Let's see if that's the case here in the final three minutes. Again, a clean sweep for Stoyan. So a knockdown is needed here for Ghazani. Yep, Bruno has that pressure, but he needs to put a little bit more of the strikes together. Because although sometimes Stoyan moving backwards, he's still landing well. I like that left hand work of Stoyan. Good jab, digs to the body. Downstairs again for Stoyan. He's mixing that left uppercut as well. That's what I call the intelligent lead hand. Bruno's punches just don't have the same steam that Stoyan's do. Yeah, I mean, a good shot for Ghazani could be a nice overhand right when Rapovinsky digs to the body, just kind of counter upstairs. Just as you said that, it was Stoyan that landed an overhand right. Stoyan's still got some good pop in his yeah. strikes. Stoyan in superb condition. Yeah, oh yeah. You can probably tell from his 12-pack. <laughs> Ghazani can't afford to stay outside on this guy either. He's got to get back in. Total strikes fairly even between these two, Joe. Yeah, I mean, it's Stoyan landing the cleaner shot, so I think that's the story of this fight. Ghazani's not out. Still throwing, still coming forward. Ghazani's still waiting to land that, that big shot, that game-changing punch or kick. He's scoring, Joe. Yeah, but like you mentioned, there's not enough pop in it to do that damage right now, so. Oh, inside low kick. Jabbing right hand from Bruno. Almost ate that spinning back kick. Yeah, Bruno looks a little more tired than I've seen him in past fights. Yeah, I agree. But it could also be the way Stoyan kind of going to say, in. <laughs> you know? You know, when you've been hit, what, 30, 40 times. <laughs> and you got to think, where's Stoyan hitting? The body, knees, punches, kicks, digging. So emptying that tank of Ghazani with those body shots. Yeah, Koplovinsky with 73 landed strikes right now. Ghazani with 58. It just was not Ghazani's night. Stoyan Kroplovinsky's game plan worked to perfection. Stop. Good effort for both these fighters. Stoyan Kroplovinsky! Well, Joe, about what we thought it would be. Yeah, 30-27, good fight.